Okay, I'm starting on a new project. I had this sign, Stay Wild Moon Child, and I wanted it out here, but it needed like a frame or something. So, we had boards left over from where he did the, the barn wood on the house. Some scrap. And I was like, let's save that and reuse it. So, yeah, this used to be on the side of the house. He took it down, flipped it over, and then stained it. And what I'm going to do is go back over it now, sand off the stain on the edge over here. He got me some L brackets, as you can see here. And I'll show you more as it progresses. All right, and here's what I got. I sanded them down. I put the uh, L bracket, fold it together. But anyway, uh, gotta stain it, then I'll put the picture in and hang her up, and then I'll be all done. And I'll show you that as I uh, progress. Okay, now, now this is the reason why I'm not hitting it oh there's there's midnight this is why I'm only hitting it one time look at that beautiful wood grain stay off of this it's you don't want this it's, it'll get on your paws nasty stuff look at that wood grain I love it I love this split in the wood no, you can't go in the house, kitty. He's been going in there and spraying. He needs to be... He needs to be, uh... Snip, snip. <laughs> but it's still drying and it'll get even, uh, darker. Look how dark that turned out. Well, it's a little bit late now. The sun's starting to come out. And soon this will all be in the sun and it'll dry even faster. And I'll show you the finished product. In a, well, more of a finished product when we come back. Okay, not dry yet, but I wanted to show you all, if it shows up, how the browns are starting to come through. And that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the gray and the brown mixed. I wanted that natural color to still shine through, but I wanted some gray in it also to make it look more weathered. And even this is starting to show the, the browns coming out in it. Let me get closer. And that's exactly what I wanted. The other is not so much, but they're still more wet. These have been out in the sun longer and are just about dry. And I couldn't be happier with it. Okay. Just want to show you the frame's all done and it's dry and that's the collar I got. It's perfect because it's imperfect and that's what I was trying to achieve. Something rough and now I just got to put my picture in. I'll do that and show you the final product. All right. Here's the final product. Oh, and it's kind of a glare on it. You can't see. But there it is. What do you think? I have it hung from the ceiling. What do you think? 
someone came here and said she loved it and she said she could sell these for fifty dollars I don't know heck it was free <laughs> my favorite price <laughs> got my picture redone I took off the plastic that was covering it because I didn't like the way it was wrinkling up and making it hard to see. So I took off the plastic and like Albert had suggested to me, why not just cover it with a good um, car wax? The type you buff on. And so I did. I figured, you know, It'll last forever because it's not getting wet. And there we go. No more glimmer on it to uh, make it hard to see. Homemade. Except for the sign itself. The frame was homemade. And it was hung up. You know, you don't find too many of these that are framed. You can see these around online, but you don't get them framed. So that's one of a kind, I'm sure. <laughs>